Hey guys, so once again, it's the Dave half of Dave and Diane throwing caution to the wind. And today we want to do an unboxing of the click chair. There are times we don't need to carry a full-blown chair. We want to have something small that we can leave in the car, leave in the truck, and we go play pickleball, for example, um, that we can just throw out real easy, sit in it once in a while, or go to a musical, go to a happy hour, um, just we see a lake or something along the road we want to stop at. It's nice and handy, compact, and doesn't take up a lot of room in the car if we want to leave it there. So let me open this thing up. I bought this one off of Amazon. They're not the cheapest chair for the size, but I thought we'd give it a try anyway. All right, so here we go. Now their claim to fame, they keep on saying that it's as small as a water bottle. All right, well, here it is. I'm not even going to unpack it yet. I'm just going to do some things. So a water bottle. All right, well, here's a regular water bottle. You go to the grocery store, pick up a water bottle. Uh, no, not that water bottle. All right, here's a basic water bottle. Nope, not that small either. Another water bottle, this is about the biggest one we carry. Not that either. So, I would say the claim of the size of a water bottle, I guess maybe you need to go to a sporting goods store where they have that big wall of all the water bottles and find the largest one they have and put it next to it and you might be about that size so weight wise I think I read online where they say this is right at three and a half pounds I don't remember exactly I'll look online and I'll put it right here in the video somewhere but I don't know that I'd throw this in a backpack and go camping now this is my backpack, my Osprey backpack. This is the day pack. Most of our hikes are all just day hikes. So maybe we'll see if it fits in the water bottle section. All right, well, I guess it does, but I don't think I'd want to hike with it that way. There's a uh, loop right here. You can put a, a carabiner on, I guess, and you can hang it on the back of the backpack. That probably wouldn't be very comfortable. So I'm going to say no to take it along on a day hike. Now, I mentioned going and playing pickleball. So here's my backpack for when I go play pickleball. Let's see if it fits in its water bottle holder. All right, I guess it would fit there. So I'll give them that. Or let's open it up, see how it does inside here. I keep my shoes in here. But typically when I head to the courts, I have them on. Oh yeah, I could easily put it inside there and throw it on and carry it. So that's easy. So that gives you an idea of size. But like I said, we didn't, we didn't get this to go day hiking. We got this to leave in the car and go to musicals or some type of outdoor event or playing pickleball or something like that. That's what I mentioned we got it for. So we'll see how it works for that. Now, I've seen a number of videos that these things are so easy to set up. Now, this is my first time you saw me take it out of the box. Undo the Velcro straps, open it up. Well, that was easy. And then you pull out, this is new, so it's probably pretty stiff. Pull out the uh, backrest. Boy, that's tight. Ugh, okay, that one's snuck in there. And two on the front. That was easy. That was easy. This one hasn't uh, snapped in yet, so, wow. 
Okay, that was tight. <laughs> there you go. That's set up. Now, that had me thinking about that pin. So I want to put it back together and uh, take it apart again, just because that concerned me a little bit that first time. Okay, so then I guess, uh, what? Push this button, folds over. And there we go, so now it's back together basically. Let's open it up and see how that one leg reacts again. All right, so it's open. Two, one, one, two. Okay, just a little stiff the first time around. Now, let me, uh, let me reposition the camera and I'm going to sit in this thing for you. So I'm 5'11". Thanks to COVID, I'm uh, north of 200 pounds. Haven't stood on a scale for a while, but I'm going to say about 220 right now. So let me move the camera and I'm going to take a seat. All right, so <laughs> this is the first time sitting in it. Let's see how it goes. They say it's good to uh, 330 pounds. <clears throat> All right, so first impression, I'm certainly sitting back. I'm not sitting upright at all. Let's try this. I guess you can sit upright like this. There's no real backrest. It's most comfortable if you sit like this, lean back a little bit. I saw in some videos people talked about it kind of moving, which I think that's fine. That doesn't bother me at all as long as it doesn't move and throw me on the ground. So I have a kind of a bad neck. So sitting at this angle and keeping my head upright like this would be good for a while. I don't know that I'd want to sit here for two or three hours. I guess you could, let me grab this footrest. <sighs> Let me see what that does to the situation. Actually, that's, that feels even a little bit better. I kind of like that. I do like it with the footrest. So it does have the uh, nice ventilation, the mesh on the bottom and mesh on the back. That's nice. Here are a couple of, uh, couple of pouches on the side. Throw a cell phone in there, goes down there nice and deep, but probably pretty safe. Let's sit in here one more time. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get Diane. Now she's five foot four and uh, an undisclosed weight. We'll see what she thinks about it. I'm gonna go grab her, see if she'll come out and, uh, and check out the chair. She hasn't even seen it yet. Hang on. All right, well, I went and got Diane. She was uh, kind enough to come out and check out this new chair. Actually, this is mainly her chair, so. I want you to sit in it and give us your, your uh, first impressions. So I have, I have the microphone on my uh, shirt. All right, I admit it, I screwed up. I went and got Diane, she came outside, she sat in the chair, she gave us her honest first opinions. And I'm still getting used to this new camera and it was the first time I tried to run it from my phone and I didn't video what I thought I was videoing. So the whole thing we went through with Diane getting out here didn't get on camera. So I'm just gonna tell you what she said. She first sat down in the chair, made kind of a face, said the same thing I did. She felt like she was sitting in a sling chair and she was reclined a little too much she had to hold her head up all the time 
So I went inside and got her a little back pillow, you know, a little like a knee pillow, put it behind her back. And she said that made her feel better, but she still wasn't, re wasn't uh, sitting up straight in just the chair. So that wasn't working out too well either. I put the footstool in front of her. She said that felt pretty good, but we didn't want to carry a footstool and a chair around in the car. So we were still up in the air about that. So anyway, um, it wasn't the best of first impressions and we agreed we need to give it a better chance. So we decided to uh, bring the chair inside the coach and sit in it for a few hours each and hang on and we'll do a news flash and tell you how that turned out. Ugh. Well, news flash. After shooting the video outside on the unboxing of this click chair, we thought we might just bring it inside and uh, sit in it for a couple hours each or an hour each and see how we felt. So we traded back and forth. Diane sat in it for a while. I sat in it for about 45 minutes, I guess. And uh, we both realized that for $99, this was not going to be the chair for us. So, to give you an idea, like I said, I'm probably 220 right now, thanks to COVID. But nonetheless, 220, 5 foot 11, and right here on the sides, I kind of sit with a little wide stance. I got the I got the guys sit, I guess, and it kind of hits me right in the legs. So I find myself always having to keep my legs a little more proper. And uh, so that kind of hurt. And then my neck, I mentioned, it's always, so you're kind of leaning back. So if you want to lean back and watch the sky, it's probably pretty good. If you want to sit there and talk to people, you're always having to keep your head forward. Um, you can sit up in the chair like this, but then you may as well have a $10 stool to sit on, right? So if you want to sit in it properly, your head's always tilted forward. And then it's kind of a sling chair. And I have a pretty good back. But after about 40, 45 minutes of sitting and I got up, I found that my lower back was kind of hurting. And Diane felt the same thing. So anyway, long story short, um, instead of taking it to the courts and sitting it outside in the dirt, we thought we'd test it in here, realized it wasn't going to work, so we're going to return it back to Amazon. So with that being said, I am not going to put a link in the description below for the click chair. I feel if we're not satisfied with it, why try to give you a link to try it yourself? If you want to, you can still go on Amazon and find it yourself. In fact, in the description below is a link to Amazon, and if you click on that link and go to Amazon and buy anything um, we do get a little kickback so keep that in mind that's my little cheap cheap uh, beg there whatever you want to call it <laughs> anyway we want to come back and uh, give you an update on what we thought about the click chair it is pretty cool um, I like the way it opens up it's all compact we we like all that aspects of it but just the comfort the comfort was not going to work for us so that's it so, like I said earlier, if you got anything out of this video at all, how about giving us a thumbs up? Maybe hit that subscribe button down below. Leave us a comment. And uh, as always, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.